Welcome to Volunteers of America. You are joining a remarkable organization with a rich history, an extraordinary scope of programs and services, and a character deeply rooted in spiritual values of compassion, service, and joyful goodwill. To fully understand Volunteers of America, we must travel back in time to the organization's founding in the late 19th century. Against the backdrop of the Industrial Revolution, it was the height of the American Gilded Age, a time of rapid economic growth, massive immigration, technological change, political tensions, and rising economic inequality. Social reformers Ballington and Maud Booth had moved to New York from Great Britain in 1887 to assume command of the American forces of the Salvation Army. Ballington Booth was the son of Salvation Army founder General William Booth. But nine years after arriving in the United States, disagreements with General William Booth and other members of the family led Maud and Ballington Booth to establish a new organization. They envisioned a movement that would combine the Salvation Army's religious conviction and commitment to service with a uniquely American spirit of national identity and democracy. On a cold and rainy March evening in 1896, more than 1,000 people packed the Great Hall of Cooper Union, while thousands more waited outside. They had come to hear Maud and Ballington Booth announce a new social and spiritual movement dedicated to reaching and uplifting the American people. The Booths pledged that God's American volunteers would go wherever we are needed and do whatever comes to hand, a declaration that continues to guide the organization's outreach efforts today. Maud and Ballington christened this new movement Volunteers of America. While the term volunteer carries different connotations today, in those days it referred to anyone committed to a mission or cause. Since its early days, the organization has included both paid employees and those offering their time and talents for free. Today, Volunteers of America employs nearly 16,000 paid professionals in its Ministry of Service with another 60,000 volunteering their time to help those in need. From the start, Volunteers of America took a pioneering role in empowering women's leadership, thanks in no small part to Maud Booth's spirit and example. Long before women won the right to vote in American elections, they were granted equal rank and respect within Volunteers of America. It was Maud who drove the advent of VOA's social welfare programs in the form of a prison ministry and the formation of halfway houses for newly discharged prisoners. The turn of the century saw the volunteers moving into tenement districts to care for people in poverty, organizing day nurseries for mothers with small children, and providing housing for single men and women. In the 1920s, VOA established the first homes for orphaned African-American children in the Jim Crow South and opened its first home for the elderly in California. In the 1930s, when the Great Depression stretched the nation's private social welfare system almost to the breaking point, Volunteers of America stepped up to assist millions of people who were unemployed, hungry, and homeless. The ensuing decades saw VOA continuing to innovate and expand in areas including addiction rehabilitation, prison initiatives, adoption programs, and health services. In the 1960s and 70s, Volunteers of America worked with federal housing programs, developing affordable housing complexes, skilled nursing facilities, and halfway houses around the country Today, Volunteers of America is a national leader in elder care, offering supportive and nurturing environments for seniors across the country. From its founding in the 19th century until 1980, 
Volunteers of America maintained the same military structure as the Salvation Army, with leaders assigned titles of rank, such as general or colonel, and the use of uniforms. In the early 1980s, the organization underwent a sweeping reorganization that did away with the military structure. It also established regional affiliates around the country to serve the unique needs of their respective communities. Today, Volunteers of America has its national headquarters in Alexandria, Virginia, while 31 affiliates serve 46 states and Puerto Rico. The National Services Division provides housing and health services throughout the country. Now in our second century of service, Volunteers of America is one of the nation's largest and most comprehensive human services organizations, touching the lives of almost 1.3 million people each year in more than 400 communities across the United States. Since you're just starting with Volunteers of America, you might not be fully aware of the reach and range of the organization you're joining. Here's a brief overview of the scope of our programs and services. Through intervention, rehabilitation, and prevention, we help people in crisis see a way out. During personal hardships and emergencies, we address immediate needs, offer long-term support, and educate with prevention outreach programs. We support the social, emotional, and academic development of disadvantaged children while empowering older youth to be physically, emotionally, and mentally healthy. For those struggling with homelessness and hunger, we offer a variety of community programs, including information and referral, food and prepared meals, thrift stores, and collaborations with the faith community. We work to end homelessness through eviction prevention, emergency services, transitional housing, and permanent affordable housing. We help the formerly incarcerated to transition successfully from prison to a productive life in the community and to set new, positive directions for their lives. Our services include halfway houses, work release programs, residential treatment, family support, and mediation services. As one of the nation's largest nonprofit providers of quality, affordable housing for low and moderate income households, we create and manage housing for the homeless, families with children, the elderly, people with physical and mental disabilities, and veterans and their families. We help people with chronic or severe mental illnesses successfully manage their lives through crisis counseling and hotline programs, case management, day programs and drop-in centers, transportation, residential care, and supported independent living. With our senior centers and day programs, we help seniors to stay active and healthy. We also offer home repair and homemaker services, meal programs, transportation, companion services, protection against abuse and neglect, and case management services for seniors in our communities. Volunteers of America owns and operates more than 20 senior living and care communities throughout the United States. Community-based care and services to older adults who would otherwise need nursing home care are provided in several locations throughout our programs of all-inclusive care for the elderly, known as PACE, from memory care and assisted living to home health care and rehabilitation we are dedicated to providing supportive, nurturing environments for seniors and others requiring long-term health support. Our innovative, results-driven behavioral health services assist those with mental health issues, substance abuse issues, and those with intellectual or developmental disabilities. For more than a century, we have pioneered community-based, high-quality, integrated models of care and service that strive to meet the needs of the whole person, family, and community. We serve thousands of individuals with disabilities across the nation with specialized programs for autism, age-related problems, and other challenges. Our services include in-home support, case management, day programs, and supportive employment, specialized residential services, host homes, 
foster care, and supported living. We work to prevent and eliminate substance abuse through residential and outpatient services, from prevention to treatment to long-term support. Since World War I, Volunteers of America has provided direct services to veterans and connected them with other organizations that can help. Our support helps veterans overcome the barriers that stand between them and a stable, secure life. Among other services, we provide veteran housing, employment training, and emergency shelter. In 1896, Maud and Ballington Booth pledged that Volunteers of America would go wherever we are needed and do whatever comes to hand. As you can see, these words still define us as an organization today, as we continue our proud legacy of responding to the needs of our most vulnerable community members. Volunteers of America is an organization rooted in a rich tradition of a proud history, but we are also forward-looking, constantly evolving to find innovative solutions to intractable problems, expand our reach, and make our mission of service more inclusive. In recent years, we partnered with Training to Serve, a nonprofit organization in Minneapolis, to better meet the needs of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people as they age and to provide a more welcoming and inclusive environment for LGBT elders across all our senior care facilities and programs. Our organization's decentralized approach empowers staff on the front lines to design programs that meet the distinct needs of those in the local communities, such as Somali refugees living in Columbus, Ohio, or the Hmong American population in Minneapolis. This flexible approach addresses local needs and enables real progress toward helping all Americans live successful and meaningful lives. With our Moral Injury Program, we are combining the latest in neuroscience with a cross-sector exploration of the spiritual and psychological dimensions of trauma in order to develop programs and services that support recovery and healing. And our Innovation for Impact program is building a culture of innovation to find new ways to serve the nation's most vulnerable. At Volunteers of America, we draw on more than a century of experience and the reach of a nationwide movement that is bonded by a commitment to faith, human dignity, and social justice, and committed to the highest quality of service. We are called to ease the suffering in our communities, to soothe and strengthen the spirits of the vulnerable and downtrodden, and ultimately to transform hardships into healing. We are thrilled that you're joining this proud, compassionate, and accomplished legacy of volunteers. Welcome to a movement that makes a difference in the lives of so many every day across the country. We're so glad to have you with us.